Good morning, class. I am Miss Darlene Lee Huganas, your English teacher for today. So before we start, may I check for the attendance? No one is absent. Okay, very good. So may we recall our lesson last week? Yes, Jerry, about adverb. Very good. Yes, Jeremy, about order of adverbs. Very good. So now we will be having another topic. But before that, let's do this one message received activity first. Okay, so I have here 12 lines. So all you have to do is to choose some letters from A to Z until you fill in the blanks and you get the message, which will be our topic for today. Okay, who will start? Yes, Giselle, letter P. Okay, very good. So we have two, we have two letter P here. Yes, Germaline, letter I. Okay, very good. Very good. Yes, Joyce. Letter A. I'm so sorry, but we don't have letter A here. Yes, Pamela. Letter letter S. Very good. Letter S. Yes, next. Letter R. Okay, very good. Next letter is letter. Yes, Ian. Letter letter O. Very good. So we have two letter O here. Who already knows the answer? Who already knows the word? Yes, Kenneth. Yes, prepositions. Very good. So our topic for today is all about prepositions. So now let's proceed to our discuss discussion and uh, let's find out what is what is preposition. So class, our topic for today is about the concept and uses of prepositions. So what is a preposition? A preposition is a word that is placed before a noun or a pronoun and establishes the positional relation with other words in the sentence. For example, he is sitting on a chair. The ball went across the boundary. She committed the mistake in spite of great care. So these words, the words on, across, in spite of, these are called prepositions. So let's move on to the uses of some important prepositions. The first one is in. It is used to show a stationary position inside a premise. For example, I am in the room. She is in the class. So it is also used to show the names of big countries, cities, or areas. Excuse me. For example, I live in La Union. Ian lives in Cagayan. So it is also used to show time or the seasons. For example, Lucas was born in July. I went there in the summer. So it shows time or seasons. This preposition, which is in, is used to show occupation and other activities. Like he works in a plastic factory. She is busy in cooking. The next preposition is into and it is used to show the movement that is directed inwards for example ken jumped into the river or manager came hurriedly into the cabin so it is also used to show change the change in state of something for example milk is converted into curd or cheese is modified into cheese pakoda okay so the third one is the preposition at and it is used to show time and definite place for example I get up at 5 a.m. or she was at the conference. It is also used before colony, village, or smaller areas. For example, I live at La Union in Philippines or she studies at San Fernando City. So it is used before colony, village, or smaller areas. It is also used to show the rate. For example, mango is sold at 60 a kilogram or milk is sold at 50 a liter. The next one is, it is used to show some special place, like ABC headquarters is at Rimando Road. Next is, on. It is used to, sh to show the position of object. For example, the pencil is on the table. The cat is on the porch. 
This preposition is also used before day and date. For example, I shall go there on Tuesday, or she was born on 30th July. All right. The next preposition is upon, and it is used to show a movement which is directed upwards. For example, she fell upon him, or buses move upon the hilly roads. So the next preposition is the preposition to, and it is used to show the change in place. For example, May goes to school. Narisa went to Claveria. So it shows um, the change in place, okay? And this preposition is also used to show a consequence, like this example. The, the building is trashed to ashes. So it shows a consequence, right? She brought the goodness to the city. And this preposition is also used to compare two nouns or pronouns. For example, she is junior to me. I am elder to my brother. This preposition is also used to show time. For example, it is five minutes to nine, or it is just a day to Sunday. Okay, the next, prep, the next preposition is from, and it is used to show the, the source of something like milk comes from cow. I love the verses from Psalms. It is also used to show positional relation. Christian, for example, Christian had come from the school, or aliens come from the space. And this preposition also is also used to show a point of time. For example, she has been reading from morning to evening. The work will go on from January to December. So the next preposition is between, and it is used to talk about two nouns or pronouns that are available. For example, distribute the fruits between jam and tea, or she slept between me and her sister. The next one one is among and it is used when possession is to be shown and there are more than two nouns or pronouns so let, let's let's take a look at this um at these examples i distributed the apples among children or government had decided to go among the public okay so i think that is the last preposition the preposition before, and it is used to show the order of the two or more events that has taken place one after another. For example, I came here before you, or the minister resigned before the tenor. All right. So are you ready for our activity? Okay, class. So this is all about the concept of prepositions and the uses of prepositions. So for your activity, which is entitled Finding Preps, this is a, um, anyway, this is a digital activity which aims to let the learners to relate objects to one, to another sentence element. So um, are you ready, class? So for your activity, kindly uh, open the link that I sent in our uh, group chat and kindly answer it in five minutes only. Is that good? Okay, very good. So class, are you done? So you may um, screenshot your answers and uh, send it to me, send it to me via email or personal message to me via messenger. Is that okay? Let's proceed to our learning exercise. Okay, which is 10 items and write the correct answer. But before that, preposition from the class. Yes, Joyce. Yes, very good. So preposition is a word. Okay, preposition is a word. Preposition is a word that conveys a meaning of position, direction, time, or other abstraction. And it is important in the field of writing okay very good so now let's proceed to our learning exercise which is um 10 items so answers answers should be sent via email and please class may you uh can you download it from our group chat can you download the file from our group chat okay okay let's start so class are you done so if you are not done yet it's okay you can send it to me later via email or in my personal messenger account okay so class for your assignment in a one half crosswise write a two stanza poem about your family 
using the different types of prepositions to be past next meeting. So is that okay? Okay, very good. So that's all class. Remember always to uh, or to go on living and to be a blessing to other people. Okay, class. Goodbye and have a good day. Thank you.